if you imagine a little cute hedgehog which rolled up and put the spikes out, hedgehog particles are actually pretty much the same. Instead of the smooth surface that normal particles have, nanoscale or microscale or macroscale, these particles have spikes on their surface. We call them hedgehog particles. The presence of these spikes changes a lot of properties. The current large user of micro and nanoscale particles is the paint uh, industry. The paints contain particles that is used to scatter light or to carry color. And um, in order to make uniform coating, one needs to disperse the particles, which are normal hydrophobic and VOCs. But with hedgehog particles, since it's very stable in water and organic solvents, one can just remove VOCs entirely. If particles are hydrophobic, they are known to easily dissolve in hydrophobic solvents, such as gasoline. If their particles are hydrophilic, they are known to disperse very easily in water. Hedgehog particles can be both hydrophobic and hydrophilic. They are reducing the ability of something to get closer to hedgehog particles. The hedgehog particles are made by first coating the microsphere with uh, nanoparticles, zinc oxide nanoparticles, which act as seeds from which the zinc oxide nanospikes are grown. We believe that by using that approach in industry, we can uh, simplify the formulations and potentially can reduce the use of volatile organic compounds, which are problematic for environment, increase the cost, and also are uh, a subject of a number of governmental our regulations. We also consider a lot of biomedical applications. A lot of drugs, cancer drugs or anti-inflammatory or antibacterial drugs, they're actually hydrophobic. There are a number of means how to disperse them, but that reduces the amount of the drugs that can be injected. Our hedgehog particles can provide an alternative tool to deliver hydrophobic drugs. Let's imagine that we can do the very same thing, that is, disperse the particles for catalysis or, for instance, for some chemical reactions or for some consumer applications without the necessary organic solvents. Even if we can reduce 5%, I think it will be a big achievement. In this case, we developed um, a technology which is based on nanometer scale materials which are deposited on nanostructured sheets of plastic. The nanoscale features that we're making 